Hello friends and welcome back to a new episode of the cheesiest man alive. Today we are doing an SCV pool special. So every single game we will try to end with an SCV pool. If we sometimes accidentally win before the SCV pool, then that's how it is. If we lose before the SCV pool, that also kind of is, um, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, for starters here, we're just gonna completely wall out our opponent and send this SCV back up. He should not be aware of the fact that there's two barracks proxied close by his main base. And once these finish up, okay, hopefully I will be capable of uh, of kind of tricking him here. So I'm pretending like I want to take an expansion. Of course, in reality, I couldn't care less about an expansion. All I care about is denying that initial scout. So we're even going to be sending this bad boy back home. And we're going to make sure that we have an infinite amount of marines being produced from these two barracks. Now, one thing I do need to kind of pay attention to here is that A, I don't get supply blocked. And B, that he doesn't get in with anything. So maybe I even want to move on the map a little bit with these three marines. Just to make sure that my opponent isn't, you know, isn't going to catch anything that is... That is out of order. That could be seen as suspicious. The moment this depot finishes up, I think we're just going to start moving across the map, honestly. We still have these over here as well. I will rally this over here. So, let's go. Just going to continue building marines, going to continue building SCVs as well. That's really the thing. Like, that's just the... Oh, crap. Did not really want to be spotted here. Uh oh Well, this isn't great. Anyway, let's just move across the map anyway. <laughs> That's not good. He also got into my main base, which could actually potentially have some bad consequences. But as he seems very keen on being surrounded, maybe it's just going to be okay as well over here. Come on, SCVs. Let's move in. Hop. Keep moving, keep moving. And now one of the most important things here is that I get at least one bunker up, I guess. Oh, he has a lot of these bad boys coming in. I have a feeling we might actually not be doing it right now. But at the same time, I have a lot of marines here, which does feel somewhat good. Um, my bunker is in the process of going up as well, which also should be somewhat okay, I guess, in a, in a certain world. Does he have enough for... Oh, yeah, he definitely has enough for a uh, super battery now. Should definitely be using that. Okay, come on, Kev. Let's focus this bad boy down. The moment we get that down, I actually think we're in somewhat of an okay position. But uh, it might actually be too late already. Just gonna chill in my bunker for now, I guess. Let's see what I can do. Hop. Yeah, I'm gonna be losing a lot of these guys. Gonna be losing a lot of these guys. Just attacking with my... My SCVs for now. Well, maybe I need to repair this. I actually do believe I need to repair this. Maybe we could just clear every single probe here. That would actually be kind of huge in a way. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, that's not going to be it as our first game here. GG. We tried our best. He spotted our SCV pool a bit too fast. He just shaded straight through my marines. That sucked and we lost our... Uh, Initial MMR here at a very high pace. It was a 6.2k player though, to be fair. So a little bit better than uh, than I am. But if you want to know how to lose MMR as quickly as I just did, then check the following commercial. Do you sometimes wonder how I give away my MMR at such a high speed? I'll let you in on the secret. I am using my extra aluminum forged ember card holder. It provides me easy access to all my bank cards and to my MMR gift certificates. This way, you can easily give away your MMR to undeserving cannon rushers, proxy 4 rexers, and 12 poolers. Not only can you access everything easily with the quick card access button, but you also look cooler pulling out one of these bad boys rather than pulling out your Velcro Pokemon wallet that you got when you were 6. No more fumbling at cash registers for you if you use the link in the description and at checkout use discount code HARSTEM for 25% off until September the 21st. This time we get a Protoss player a little bit closer to my level. I believe he's 5.3k MMR. That means that we can hopefully take away some of his points. Quick good luck, have fun. It's very important, of course. Despite being a cheesy prick, uh, the most important thing in life is uh, being mannered while you are ruining people's MMR. And uh, probably also their day. 
at least be mannered while doing it you know if you're stealing from someone be a nice thief and that's what we're doing here we're stealing some some good old mmr here or at least that's the plan um let's this time try maybe four barracks i wonder if that's even possible actually no let's just stick with with, with three it seemed to work well like build order wise it seemed somewhat okay at least so don't want to mess too, or too much with the formula the formula seemed fine it's just the, the execution was lacking perhaps just a just a little bit okay maybe i just need to cut workers a little quicker as well that could also be helpful of course so sending this one over here do i want to get a depot into this general location probably yes probably want to be getting that right about now oh how unfortunate that you didn't quite make that come on move mr SCV. move move by yourself no oh my god i should have moved him out quicker i thought he was gonna move by himself but i guess that wasn't quite the case oh my god look at him just every single time you just Moving the wrong direction. Okay, here we go. I pop out on the correct side. And this is just beautiful stuff. Okay, nice. This wasn't entirely how I imagined it would go, but I think it's going to be okay-ish. Like, ideally, he doesn't see that I have a Marine here. Because the moment you show that you have a Marine as your first unit, they often realize that it's uh, either going to be like a proxy factory, or it has to be something like this, or proxy marauder, something weird at least. So you yeah, always got to be a little bit careful there with showing that initial Marine. These are already into this general area. We'll get a depot over here as well. Maybe I want to keep a little bit more money than I did last time for that initial bunker, because not having an initial bunker did actually feel kind of bad. Also going to move across the map a little faster, maybe, with these three. With these three. And then these come behind it. Okay. All right, Kevin. It is now or never. Okay. I haven't been figured out yet, which is good. Which is very good news. Okay, now the SCVs need to start moving in front, I think. Because I want to always catch the initial hits with my SCVs. Please tell me there's no battery. Please tell me there's no battery. No battery up here. Build a bunker on the high ground ASAP. Ooh, look at that, buddy. It's an issue for you, isn't it? Well, how does he have so many? Okay, let's just straight away go in for these workers. Super battery gets activated immediately as well. Ooh, I don't really like the way that this feels. I don't really like the way that this feels, let me tell you. Okay, now it feels a lot better already. Super battery has been activated after all. We're gonna be killing every single worker here. Let's pull some more SCVs, I guess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so... Mm. Not so sure if I should have pulled these extra SCVs as well. It seems to be more of a mistake than anything at this point. Actually, let's send these bad boys back home. There seems to be no need for that whatsoever. Um, there's only a single probe left right now, which feels nice for me. <sighs> Can cancel. I did cancel that in time. And I'm just going to get a, a little bit of a bunker here on the high ground. We have about 10 workers, so that is more than double as to what our opponent has. I'm going to be sending some marines that I'll just keep over here. And the reason I do this... Oh, is very simple. Because I want to run by with these marines and perhaps try and deal some damage. Um, here I want to turn this into a marauder builder. Come on. Kind of need a little bit more gas for that, I guess. Beautiful stuff. Maybe I also actually just need a, a second base, huh? If I can kill this, that's like 50% of his mining, which would be huge. Ah, I miss, I miss controlled there once. Gonna kill this, which is still big. Ooh, gets the recall going. Come on, I wanna get a kill, I wanna get a kill. What's your worker count at right now, buddy? Okay, I'm still out mining him, and I'm denying a little bit of mining at the same time as well. I think we might be capable of going again a little bit from now. So. Um, 
Actually, let's build this over here. Turn this into maybe a tech lab as well. It doesn't... Oh, he has a starboard, actually. I didn't quite realize that. Ooh. Then it is completely possible. Ooh, what do I do? I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do in that case. Let's just land this, build marines. Get a barracks or eBay? Second barracks. Yeah, okay, another barracks. Whatever. This feels okay, at least. Barracks. I'm gonna need an eBay at some point, right? Like, I, I feel like I really do. Um, I'm also not sure about going for another SEV pool. It, like, if he gets a single battery on the low ground, it might just completely fill. Or if he gets, like, a, a void ray and a battery, or honestly, just a void ray, even without a battery, it might just be really hard for me to deal with. Ah, he found me as well. That sucks. That actually sucks massively. We'll get a turret. Okay, let's pull a couple boys. Just a couple of the boys. Not all of them. Just a, a minor investment into this push. Now, ideally, I catch a unit in the middle of the map. If that doesn't happen, that would suck. If he has any amount of units at home, that definitely is going to suck. I want to get this on the low ground so I can start mining there. Okay, I just saw an oracle fly towards my main base. That is not entirely what I wanted, but he probably didn't spot it, because otherwise he would be sending stuff back home already. Or his one oracle would be fine with me. What is this? Do you have anything here? I really want to kill workers here, honest to God. You go die. Come on. One more shot, buddy. One more shot. One more shot. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Um, no, I want a tech lap on this. So we got a bunch of marines in production. I do believe we killed um, an almost sufficient amount of workers again. We killed like four or five, but we also lost four or five ourselves. That usually is actually bad for Terran. So I'm not sure if we're winning or if we're losing. Now, our follow-up is going to be relatively simple. We'll go for maybe some 3 rex pressure with plus 1. Uh oh. Big damage. Um, I'm not even sure if I can actually afford that though. Okay, that was good for me. That's going to lose him a bunch of his... Uh, well, his potential to deal damage. Could also just go for a tank all in. And then pull the workers with that again. I think the second SCP pool might have been a mistake. It did allow me to take out the battery quickly, kill a couple of workers, but I didn't focus on probes well enough. If you don't have enough marines in your army, these fights often aren't so great. They honestly aren't. Okay, the depot. This feels bad for me. It honestly does. I'm not a fan of how this is going. I really thought I was going to be fine after I killed every single probe except for one. You must have hidden some or something. Otherwise, surely I would have been ahead at this point. Gonna get a third gas. And then I'll get a starport reactor. Maybe I get a starport and build a tech lab already on my factory. So that I can get some tanks out. I think that might just be the play here. That actually is going to be the play. This depot will finish up eventually. Let's hope there's no stasis wars on the map. Let's hope that there's nothing spotting my move out either. That would be embarrassing. You piss off. Now, I don't really want to do too much. I'm not even quite sure what I want to achieve with this, honestly. I just actually don't know. Because I don't think I can achieve too much. Okay, well, getting a couple of sentries uh, forced isn't that bad. Sentries are extremely bad against tanks, of course, because I can just shoot over them. So that's an investment out of my opponent that most likely is just not going to pay off in any type of uh, way, shape or form. I'll get a third base, but I just will stop building SCVs altogether. So I have constant production from all of my buildings. Um, but I'm also going to get a third command center that if my SCV pool doesn't end up working out, I'll at least have triple mules and I can easily replenish my SCV count. So 44 SCVs should probably do the trick now. I think so. A couple more depots maybe would be nice. Would actually be very nice. 
that will meta facts as well don't think i need this bunker anymore so then the faster you can sell that the better it obviously is because it allows you to build more units so we're gonna do that what are you, what are you doing? okay uh he m i actually want him to scout my third base because then he might believe i could have denied this most likely but i decided not to that was a decision don't get that mixed up that really was a decision because then he he won't see this coming quite as much We're gonna get more medivacs. I also am actually considering getting a, a couple of uh, what you call these bad boys behind it. A couple of liberators. That might not actually be that bad, huh? That might actually not be too bad altogether. Not enough. Ready for dust off. Uh oh. That could have ended a lot worse for me. But my control was, as always, very stellar. Okay, we're just spreading this out. There's still one uh, little dude in the back. What you call him? One disruptor. I'm just absolutely blasting through this defense now. I'm gonna clear all these guardian shieldy boys. There's the one disruptor. I'm kind of afraid of that. Just kind of wanted to uh, debate that out. That was a good call, obviously. Okay, we're going to be rebuilding a couple of SCVs. That will definitely allow us to uh, pull another time if we need to. But I have a feeling we might just not need to. There's going to be one more disruptor shot. Maybe two more that I'm somewhat worried about. And honestly, after that, I don't think I'm going to be too worried about anymore. Close. But uh, no cigar. And now he's completely out. GG! So we get a GG. We do get to add that into the GG counter. Which I'm pretty happy about. Get 20 points in the pocket as well. And we can immediately start a new one. But not before I change the GG counter. I'm gonna keep good track of everyone that GG's me. And everyone that doesn't GG me. Don't want to be caught again by one of my own viewers. I'm messing this up. There we go. 40 out of 65. Almost triple digits. Well, almost. 35 more games. And I need to start moving the GG counter a little bit to the left where it won't fit anymore. It's of course not something that I would want in my life. Alright. I'll see you all in the game number three. We've got another Protoss player here. Protosito. Never actually heard of this fella. Now, I'm not someone that does the not same build order minutes. three times in a row. But... You know, if I get three tosses, then surely the only logical response would be, especially if it worked in the last game, to do it at least one more time, just for for old time's sake. You know, just for last game's sake. Just, just once more. How bad can it really be? Have to be careful. I'm going to play it a little bit tighter this time around as well. So rather than being very slow with everything, I'll try and make sure that all my barracks will be up on time um, at 16 supply. Because last time one of my barracks was just a little bit delayed. For honestly no real good reason um, i once again think that one of my barracks might actually be a little bit delayed i sent my third or my second scv just slightly too late i really do believe okay here comes one Ooh. we already start an scv and then we can decide to cancel it if we are there in time with our worker or not oh well, we'll actually make it very good there we go three racks Hop. and we need to start moving towards the ramp as well because that will allow us to build Ah, uh, the depot just in time. How frustrating that must be for you, my friend. Yes, sir. Bad news. Mm. What's going on? I want to really end up on the wrong side of the road here. That's yeah, not going to happen either. Very nice. Get this going. I actually managed to do it properly for once in my life. I'm almost tempted to scout as well, just to kind of show him that I'm a safe player. And I'm going to do it with the SEV that already got damaged. That way, he doesn't believe that it comes from one of these proxy locations. You know, it's just a, an added safety measure. I'll move this down. I'm not sure if that's the correct call. I don't actually believe it is, but yeah, that's life. It's not about believing it to be the, the correct call. It's about doing, you know, just making moves. That's often more important, just doing something. Doing something often is better than doing nothing. What?! Who scouts like this? You gotta be kidding me. You cancel this natural. Maybe we can actually just... I'm glad that I scouted now. See a cancel on the natural. So 
So if we can kill this pylon, then maybe we can just for can go in for a slower push basically. So we're gonna get a gas now. Yeah, often with three three racks though. It really is uh timing is usually of the essence. That's a kill, no? Yeah. Okay, who am I kidding? Let's go baby. Let's just pretend that we're going back home, though. So, he, he might end up actually cancelling, like, uh, if he's building extra batteries. We just cancel it. Come on, move out, buddy. Move out. I know you want to. Come on, go up this ramp. <laughs> I dare you, dude. Please go up this ramp. I know you want to figure out what's going on. Okay, look at this move. They're just going through. If he isn't quick with the response... We'll surround him. There we go, there we go. Oh, 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 I mean, if I take every single worker out once more, surely that would be a good thing. There's not even a second base at this point. So I actually think that this time around, if I send these back home especially... I'm not just way up. You guys go home. What did I say? Two workers left. I have 11 left. There's no second base. We can actually fly one home already. And once again, we're going to... Eh, actually, are we going to? I'm not so sure what we're going to do yet. I definitely do believe I'm winning once more, though. This feels very good for me. Despite being completely scouted, may I say. If I had gotten the surround as well, that would have been even bigger. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. He probably knows... Oh, no, 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 no. There you go. That was one of your very little workers that you still had. Might not have wanted to lose that, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. It is possible that he had a lot of cash, though. So then he can easily rebuild these workers. But it's also about the time it takes to rebuild workers, of course. Oh, no, no. I, ca I can't allow this thing to die. Okay, that's no mining for you, buddy. Not sure if this is worth it for me though. <sighs> so I'm just gonna be playing one base for at least a little bit longer. No way. Can't actually kill this bot. Don't actually wanna repair it too much. Do I wanna get a cyclone here or? Okay, look at this. This is going to be the plan. Ooh, what actually is going to be the plan? I was thinking of just continuing worker production from here, but it might actually be best. Or marine production. It might actually be best to just expand at this point. No, rather than continuing building useless things. Yeah, I'm just going to build more workers, expand, and then do like a, a three rex push with like tanks and stuff like that. I'm going to need more workers with that. And then it's like a two base push, basically. Like a two base push or two and a half or however many I'm going to be building. I'm not so sure yet. Maybe I want a cyclone first. Wouldn't surprise me if this... I wonder why he put that down. Did he think I was going to stim down? I don't even think he believes that I was going to stim down at this point, right? It seems just hard to kind of truly believe that. Don't go in. Outstanding. Still down there. Can, you got can I move down go with go my... Go. Look at this move. If this works. This either is going to look terrible or it's going to barely work. I almost want to ask him a question. Like, hey, how was your day? And then bam, move down like the idiot that I am. This is a response test, my friend. Three. Two. One. Three. 
He didn't fail. He definitely succeeded the response test. I'm impressed. Come on. I want to catch you though. We're not done here yet, buddy. We're not done here. Look at my cyclone. He's a hunter. My cyclone is a true hunter. I could have just waited for my tank. But it's less James Bondy. I didn't see any healing there. That is what it is. We're actually mined out over here already. That is not great. It's also not terrible. It's just really kind of neutral. I feel neutral about it. Perhaps these two reactors also weren't it. It delayed one of my tanks, but then again, it is what it is. Let's see if I can just pretend to push out on the map. I'm afraid I'm going to get caught in the middle of the map when I'm pretending to push out, though. And what am I really, you know, doing by pretending to move out? I'm forcing batteries, which makes no sense. Maybe I can, like, uh, kill something. Like an observer or something along those lines. Oh, let's see if there's a third base as well. Cancel workers to build more marines. Always a good call. What do we think? Do we have enough? One more tank. With the next tank, we're going to move out. And we're going to take the boys, obviously. That's the entire point. That literally is the point. Okay, we take some from the main. Something like this. I like the way this looks. Come on, tank man. Let's go. Tanky man, take me by the hand. Running through the land, if you understand. Tanky man. Thirty-eight workers. Let's go. I wish I still had a uh, a single scan available, either for DTs or for anything else. Now, another scary thing here, honestly, is just going to be uh, making sure that there's no type of uh, force fields, because of course this is a ramp. That's why a scan once again would have been quite nice to have. Hoppa! Yeah, <laughs> no GG. <laughs> there we go, my friend. That is what we want in life. Are we getting Dark Templar? No, Forgate Blink. I think we dealt enough damage in the early game. The fake bunker really sold the story. Still get double gate and double battery, but felt like I did a good job here. Really felt like I did a good job. I really wonder what the worker count was. Okay, it was legit two, two against eleven. Yeah, that's a win. He tried to break me, but he couldn't. Tough luck and no GG. So we're going to add that in as well. Ooh. It always makes me a little happier if they don't GG. Um, so that means we get 40 out of 66. And that means that I'm going to call it quits for today as well. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for to Exter for sponsoring this video. Once again, check the description if you want to get one of these uh, sleek looking wallets. And uh, I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thank you and bye bye.